I suppose people in the early 2000s didn't know that using a popular media license and mixing it with a popular activity would turn out to be similar quality-wise to a movie tie-in game, as The Simpsons Wrestling sold faster than a Marge Simpson Playboy issue. The premise, being all in the name, sees your favourite Simpsons character fighting each other on a one-on-one -on -one wrestling-style matchup, banking on you not having Uta Zorka and Dr. Marvin Monroe as your most beloved characters. So, let's look at how shit this game. Hold, hold on, let me adjust the insult to be more aligned with The Simpsons. Without further ado, let's see how piss poor this game is in its worth. The first thing you'll notice is how god awful the graphics are in this game, and the character models are more of an eyesore than a conjunctivitis infection. The in game models make it look like The Simpsons characters have suffered severe burns and had unsuccessful reconstructive surgery, and the character outlines are so shoddily done, it looks like a preschooler with Parkinson's drew them. I understand that the animation for 2D characters didn't need to look realistic, but when they're transitioned into 3D, they look like boneless freaks wailing away at each other. If you aren't left queasy from the sickening visuals, then maybe the gameplay will make you turn away in disgust. The controls are about as responsive as a comatose victim, and mixed with how unfair the gameplay is, the game turns out to be as broken as a small-sized condom on a black man's dick. The brokenness within the gameplay stems mostly from a lack of a block button, and the features that are included in this game are just as defective. Each character has an energy bar and the fuller it is, the more moves that character can perform. In order to regenerate this energy, you need to not play the game by performing any other moves and run around the wrestling ring like a little bitch. You may also pick up items that regenerate energy and health, as well as speed boosts and letters. The speed boosts are not recommended by yours truly, as they make the game more broken than it already is, because you fly past your opponents and the challenge is to then try and land a hit on your opponent until this boost wears off. The letters you collect spell out taunt, which if five are collected, taunt your opponent allowing you brief invincibility and stunning your opponent. The taunts used only garner a laugh from how pathetically bad they are, and are just as unfunny as the starting lines spouted by the characters before each fight, with the humour feeling as forced as a black man trying to jam his cock into a small sized condom. Honestly, the humour feels like it was added in last minute just because the Simpsons license was slapped all over this game, and the developers didn't want to receive any more hate than they knew they'd get. Another way you can earn a taunt letter is by pulling off a combo, but with these controls that's harder to pull off than removing that small sized condom from the black man's penis. There's rarely a time when you'll ever see the items, as the camera is zoomed in so where you can see about half of the ring and there never is an indication as to where they'll spawn. To win rounds you need to pin an opponent for 3 seconds when they are stunned and whittling down their health makes it easier to pin them for longer, although it's not a good look when an adult male character thrusts their pelvic area onto a down child for a pin. Hopefully Homer was just packing a duff can and wasn't happy to see the kids. All characters is found in the background of the different stages are stiff cardboard cutouts that rotate with the camera to give the perception that they are moving, and it looks like a poor attempt to hide that they are 2D, so what, did the characters suddenly get three dimensional as soon as they enter the wrestling ring? As expected, there is no story to be found in these bare bone games, but the manual provides an attempt at a backstory as to what is going on. Aliens have challenged the residents of Springfield to a wrestling match and the citizens develop a wrestling fever despite most not knowing how to fight and being overweight. Yeah, that's all you get for a story, and I'm pretty sure the wrestling frenzy only occurred when the town of Springfield was offered the check to be in this game. There is a circuit you complete for the single player mode, fighting harder opponents until you face the aliens at the end. You play as one character throughout these circuits, and with this comes... Boredom, as playing the same character for more than a match becomes stale. Additionally, some characters just sweep the floor with others, making passing some stages nigh impossible. The best chance of winning a game is to spam the basic attack, but that may not always work with the poor hit detection. There are three circuits to complete, with each unlocking after the prior circuit gets completed, and along the way you unlock new characters, although I doubt anyone has the patience to do this. Ned Flanders is the most bullshit character, as he must be pinned twice, and his high power attack is an unavoidable, very damaging attack. You could easily beat the rest of the circuits when you unlock him, but that would mean playing this game more. With graphics uglier than your mum without makeup, boring and broken gameplay and terrible hit detection, The Simpsons Wrestling appeals only to the most hardcore Simpsons fan. The original voice actors were paid enough to make an appearance and the soundtrack can be decent at times. That's about all the positives I can think of for this game and you can experience all that by closing your eyes and not playing this. While I have been extremely negative about this game, the overall experience isn't broke enough to make it sink further below than this place on the list. <clears throat> put up the list. Usually I would say my farewells here, but I want to use this time to say, fuck you, Simpsons Wrestling. 
I've lost all my patience with you.